From this Arbitrum quick start on how to run a full node known as Nitro, if you check out here, you are going to see that you will need a minimum of 4 to 8 gig RAM to be able to run a Nitro node and a minimum of 2 to 4 core of CPU. Minimum storage of 1.2 terabyte. In my case, I have 2 terabyte and always make sure that it is extendable. So from this required active facts, this is the requirement files. That is the files that you require to run Arbitrum node on your local machine. The first is going to be the latest Docker image. Docker is a one-click application in which you can use to run application like you can run different applications inside your computer. Arbitrum nodes run as a Docker image. So this Docker is going to be an application that we, that we are going to install that we are going to install inside our computer and then download this Docker image from Arbitrum and then run the Docker image inside the Docker container in which I am going to show you how to create it. The second thing we are going to need is going to be the Arbitrum Nitrogenesis database snapshot. So this is going to be the files from the first genesis block of Arbitrum nodes. That's called a snapshot. So that's what we are going to need to run the Arbitrum node. Before I dive into the required parameters here, let's go back to the Docker and install and set up Docker in our local machine. So navigate to this website, docs.docker.com slash engine slash install slash Ubuntu. Since my server is GNOME Linux, which means a Linux without a desktop interface, I am going to be installing this Docker engine. So the first thing that you are going to do is to uninstall old version of Docker if you already have Docker running on your machine. So you can run this command to remove all the Docker's dependencies. You can also follow the uninstallation guides here. But in this case, and for the case of this video, I will assume that you don't have Docker installed already. So I'm going to begin with this installation method. And we are going to choose this Docker set up and install docker engine from docker's apt repository so to do this i am going to log into my server that i am connected via ssh so i am on the root directory of my server as stated in the documentation we have to run this command to update our repo and then paste it on my terminal to update the repository Then copy the next command to install the necessary packages in which we are going to use to run our docker. After this, it is going to prompt you with this message. When it asks, do you want to continue? Just type yes, which is Y, and then click on enter. So the next thing that we are going to do is to add the Docker's official GPG keys. And the way we can do that is to run this command to install the key rings. So I'm going to copy this, navigate to my SSH server, and then paste it. Then click on enter to run it. Now we are going to use the CURL package that we installed to download the Docker from this link. After downloading, we are going to run this gpg command just to initiate the keyring docker.pgp. So I am going to copy this, navigate to my server, paste it, and then click on enter. So after that, I am going to copy this last command and then navigate to my terminal, paste it, and then click on enter. As long as you don't have error, it means it is completed. Congratulations for finishing up the step two. Now we are going to navigate to step three, which is setting up the repository. So just click on this button to copy everything here and then navigate to your terminal. Let's clear the terminal to clean it up. Then paste it, click on paste and then click on enter. As long as you don't have any error, it means it is completed. 
so it is now time to install the main docker engine so i am going to copy this command and then navigate to my terminal and paste it and click on ok now we then have to install docker by using this command so i'm going to copy this command and then paste it here and then click on enter then it's going to ask you if you want to continue just type y and click on enter now we are installing our docker engine then you will see this message after completing the docker download so the next thing is for us to confirm that docker is being installed so we are going to copy this command and then navigate to our terminal paste it and then click on ok so now our docker has been successfully downloaded and we now have a new docker image downloaded which is a test a low wall image now let's get our layer one rpc url so now navigate to alchemy.com if you don't have an account with alchemy then sign up then after signing up you will see a dashboard like this just click on great app in my case i already have the ethereum mainnet rpc url here created about 356 days ago so in your case you can just click on great app and then follow the process then you will come up with this so after that click on view keys and then copy the http url from your alchemy and then save it in one place because we will need it later okay so now on your server find where there is home directory for example my my own is here so check if there's user directory inside that home directory if there's no user directory inside that home directory then just click on that right click on that home directory and click on new folder then call it user this is user so you grade the user and then grade this folder dot arbitrum take note of this folder dot arbitrum so after grading home grade user inside home and then grade dot arbitrum inside user then find where there is local directory in my own it is on this user this usr so if i click on usr I am going to find local so you can see it here local so inside this local directory I want to create another directory called arbitrum I've already done that here so right click on this local click on new folder then call it arbitrum this call it arbitrum now inside that arbitrum right click on it and then Click on new file. Then inside the new file, call it docker-compose.yml. Take note of that, docker-compose, like this. So that's going to be the name of the new file that you created. So in my case, I have it already, so I'm not going to create any file at the moment. This process is very important. So you will need to grant this your new graded Arbitrum directory permission for any user to use it because Docker is going to access this directory not as the root directory but as Docker. So we need to grant its permission to access this directory that is to write into this directory. Now take note of this. This section is very important. So to do that, right click on this Arbitrum directory and click on copy path. Then on your terminal, cd to the directory. I'm going to paste the directory and click on enter. Now you can see I am on the Arbitrum directory. Now type chmod, then hyphen fr, take note of the case, 777 then followed by the directory we want to grant access, which is Arbitrum. Then click on enter. 
Now we have grant docker access to write to this our directory. So the next thing that we are going to do right now is to download the Arbitrum Network Snap data called Nitro.tar. This is the data that is going to include the Genesis blockchain from start to current. So we are going to download this data. If I click on my local computer and then click on open new link and then go to the link, you see the start, it started to download the Nitro data, but we don't want to download it here. You can see it's about 186 gig. So we don't want to download inside my local computer. I, so I'm going to cancel it and then download it inside the server. So to download the file, type wget followed by the link of the files we want to download, which is going to be this. Then click on enter. Now you can see it is downloading the file. It is going to take a quite long time because of the size of the file. You can see my server network speed is 33 megabyte per second. So I'm going to pause this video here and wait for it to download. So you do the same thing on your computer and see you after downloading. Okay, so when you have completed all the process now, copy this file from Discord channel. I am going to paste this file into the Discord channel. So check on the general channel pin message. You are going to find this file. So you will need to tweak this file. Check with the image to make sure that Arbitrum does not release a new image. So check the version. If the version is the same with this, with the one on the official documentation, which is going to be the one that you have seen here. So always check to confirm that the version is the same with the one I pasted here. If not the case, then just copy from here and paste here to be sure that you are having the current image. Because at the time of watching this video, this image might be updated by Arbitrum official. So the next thing you are going to do is that you are going to paste the local path that we created, which is user local Arbitrum. In my case, this is it. On my user local, I created Arbitrum. So you have to paste it here if you have created it from another directory. But if it is the same directory, which means you've seen user local inside your machine or you have created it, then just leave it by default. Then this is very essential. This directory is very essential. Take note of this directory. The naming has to be the same because I was using different naming for this directory, meaning I was creating a new directory with different names and use it here. But after spending some days, it couldn't work out. Asking on Arbitrum official Discord and I did not still find it. But later on, I got it to work by the support from Arbitrum official Discord channel. So always make sure that this directory is the same. If you don't have this directory in your machine, make sure you create the directory. You can see my own directory here, home user.arbitrum. So if you have that directory, then leave it by default. Then leave this by default, which is going to be the container part, which is this directory. So you have to leave it by default here. And this is where you are going to paste your own URL because this is my own alchemy URL. So paste your own alchemy URL here. And if you've run your own Ethereum node as well, just paste your own Ethereum RPC URL that you run yourself. For the, for, the sake, for the sake of simplicity, I am using Alchemy Node. So leave everything as it is and just copy this file. Then navigate to your local directory, Arbitrum directory, and then 
Click on your docker-compose.yml, then paste the file. So I'm going to write click and click on paste. You are going to say it this way. Remember to save the file by clicking on Ctrl S or click on File and then Save. Then close your Docker Compose YML file. Now let's just take a few moments and recap what we did. So in your server, which is your machine, you are going to create this home directory if it is not available. But most of the time you are going to see the home directory is going to be there. So on that home directory, you need to create user directory. On inside the user directory, you will need to create dot arbitrum. Then you will need to navigate to user, which is this directory inside your machine. And then find local inside this user. If local is not available, you will have to make one. Then inside local directory, great arbitrum directory. Then inside arbitrum directory, create a docker-compose.yml file. Then inside the arbitrum directory is where your nitro.tar file is going to be. So always make sure that your nitro.tar file is inside this directory. So that is it. Now let's now dive into how we can run our node. Okay, now to run your arbitrum node. Navigate to this Arbitrum directory. If you are not in this Arbitrum directory on your terminal, make sure you right click on the Arbitrum directory, the one inside your local, and then click on Copy Path. Then CD to the directory on your terminal. In my case, I am already inside the Arbitrum directory. So now to run your Arbitrum node, on your Arbitrum directory, type Docker compose up and then click on enter okay i think i've made a mistake there docker compose up and then click on enter then you are going to see a message like extracting file when it is the first time that you are running it so just leave it there to finish extracting the nitro.tar file in my case, this is not the first time I am running it. So it's not asking, it's not showing the extraction of the file. So after some time, after extracting the file, you are going to see this message on the terminal. So once you have seen this, it means your Arbitrum is successfully running. So to stop your Arbitrum node according to the official documentation. So according to the official documentation, we need to run this command. So copy this command from the official documentation. Then open another terminal. You can see this is the terminal in which my Docker uh, image is running Arbitrum nodes. And I open another terminal here and then paste the command, then click on enter. Now it shows the container ID after stopping it. And if I navigate to the Arbitrum node, you can see it shows exited with code zero. Now, if you want to run your Arbitrum node again, just type the same command, docker compose up, and then click on enter. That is exactly how to run your node. I am just running my own right now. So I don't know if it is sync. We will have to confirm if the Arbitrum node is being synced by querying the RPC. To get your RPC URL, you can also use localhost as well on your local machine. You can also use localhost on your local machine and you will also get it followed by the port. That's exit. That is it. So congratulations for running your Arbitrum nodes. If this type of content makes sense to you, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and turn on the bell notification. Also like this video so that this video can get to people who also want to run their Arbitrum node. Because it took me like one week to figure out how to do this because the official Arbitrum documentation is not that clear. Starting from installing Docker if you have not used Docker before to running your own node. 
click on the link below to join this core channel and also subscribe to this channel